last time we saved these people. And I have a look around. A small... You okay there? I had a small look around and I also noticed that in the bathroom over there, I can't point otherwise I'm going to shoot, uh, there's a little hexagonal piece missing, so... Apparently we are in the Resident Evil um, style of trains, in which you just add stuff that makes no sense whatsoever for the sake of having stuff. This is not the right way. I did a whoopsie. Let's go down here. Oh yeah, I done two things. Again, I'm having to repeat stuff because this is the second time I'm recording, yay. Uh, I've learned that this like rolling mechanic is very important, and second, if you uh, crouch, you dodge bullets, because the terrorists have the single worst aim in humanity. This is not the way I have to go, I was going the right way. Why didn't you stop me? You knew I was going the wrong way. And if you didn't, well, that's welcome to the club, I guess. Okay, so... We are going to save his daughter and his wife. Which would be a great boon. What the heck? Where am I supposed to go, dude? This way? How did I... Okay, thank God. So wait, this, this, video, this video would have been very, very short otherwise. If I continue to get stuck like an asshole. Novgorod, Russia. We're still in Russia. We have time. We're fine. We have ten minutes until the rescue arrives. Otherwise, we're fine. Alrighty, so let's go here, which should be... I falsely assumed that we had to go earlier in the train, as in like 9, 8, 7, you know, the wagons, like the earlier wagons. Turns out we have to go further down. And this is where... Get dodged! Is he gonna walk to me? Oh, hell yeah! What now, buddy? Too bad you don't drop ammo. I'm getting better at this. You do. You two are dead. We have nothing. Uh, that's the kitchen, which should be openable now. Not sure if it's useful, but hey, at least the uh, it's locked. I mean, it is locked, but I have the key card, right? I opened it the. Oh, maybe I should just open it the other way around. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so, further down. I've said this already, but... Oh, is this a save? Yes, it is a save point. Uh, these are save points with the, uh... Basically, the big chest of Resident Evil. You can also use it to put stuff in. I say, what? The save? Oh, that's weird. I reloaded the emulator, but the save was still there. That's very strange. Uh, anyhow... These are save points. Basically, like in every Resident Evil ever. I guess the other ones, the new ones, not really. Um, it really much seems like this game copied a lot of others and kind of did a mishmash in a train. I can appreciate that. I like the weird... Um, how would you explain it? The weird, like, isolation art element that a train or, like, um, a mansion up in nowhere... Like, I like these, those kinds of games in which you have, like, just a one tiny place. Alan Wake, or stuff like that, did, did it very well. Beep. It opened. Ain't that great. Okay. Now let's go around Russia. We're still doing fine. He aimed, right? I'm not I'm not insane. Are you ready for this? It's gonna look the most tactical thing ever. Look at you, Mr. Terrorist. You have no idea it's coming. Bam! 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 Okay. How tactical was that? Are you impressed? You shouldn't be. Just a sink. Good. Please. Oh, yes. Just a weird thing again. Uh, pick it up. Yes. I highly need ammo. You have no idea how much I need ammo. I have five shots left. That's like one enemy. Uh, combine with the pistol. Good. Thank you. Thank you for bullets. 
Was that someone? Okay, sounded like someone running. That, okay, I think that's just added to the music because... I don't know, we bought a, a bunch of random sounds online, might as well put it in the actual game, I guess. Dear Diary, today I've lost my bulletproof vest! What a weird thing to lose. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find it. I'm gonna lower the sound just a second, because yikes. I hope nobody finds it before me, I'll be in big trouble. December 24th. That seems like an upgrade for me. Sorry, Billy. Also, who loses a bulletproof ch uh, jacket? Of all things. Oh, there's another memo. I don't know if these are important. The door to car 10 is broken, and they say we're scheduled to depart tomorrow. I have to use the external hatch, but still, access to car 9 is very inconvenient. I also noticed the guards in car 5 are armed. What's going on with this train? Dan Hogart. The guards I can explain. The door being busted. On this, like, massive high security train. It's slightly odd. That's all I'm gonna say. Hello. This is not a safe room. This is a bigger bathroom. <laughs> it's a deluxe bathroom. No smoking. Turn water off after use. Handle the lockers with care. Will do. Is there anything in the lockers? No. I guess that's a big no. There's another door there, though. Next to the shaky sink. This is the actual bathroom that I can use? No? Okay. There's a bottle of shank. Yo! Yo! Shankmeister, stop! Hello? Is this health? Yes. Rude, rude person. That was a good scare, though. I still have the bottle of shampoo there is bothering me. That and the controls. <laughs> I can't control this man. Mr. Tankman here is... Oh god. It's so bad. Is there anything in the box? I never checked. That's not a box. Nothing unusual here, except for a green toilet. Oops, sorry. I don't mean to do that. And another shaky mirror. I guess that's a thing. Maybe it's a thing in Russia. Toilets are green, and mirrors are shaky. If, if it didn't have the respawning enemies, right? Because you, you assume there's a lot of terrorists. Sure, I'll bite. But... Infinite respawning is a little cheap, <laughs> considering you don't have infinite ammo. So it's a, it's a smidge cheap. Um, that aside, this is interesting. It's a strange game, because it's crafted like... Shot to death. Oh, that's a shame. It's crafted like a horror game, but it really isn't. Roger, <laughs> Eh? What now? Let's go the other way. Hell yeah. Pressed already? Hello? Is this bullets? Please be bullets. Yes! Things are looking up. Did you drop bullets, Mr. Other Man? Nothing you did. Okay. So, two men that are now dead. I need to explore this before they come back. Hello. What is this? My inventory is getting bigger. System disk. Interesting. Inventory to computers. This is a very huge computer. Imagine the speed I could render videos with this computer. Let's do a very quick reload and check that disk because I don't know what it does. This is a computer startup disk. Oh, thank you. Let's heal a little bit. That's, that maybe was a waste. I don't know if it's a full heal, but hey. Better safe than sorry. Hello? That's a memo, that. The weird violin is throwing me off. What a terrorist. The following is a list of terrorists that have been active in the recent years. Andrei Milkikov. No idea. Shot an army officer in 1998, hiding in southern Europe. Holds Russian and British passports. Ibrim Shim. 
attempted to kidnap a Russian nuclear engineer wanted by CIA. Boris Zugovsky. Isn't that the bad guy at the start? Active in supplying arms to insurgents in South Europe and Middle East. Former KGB agent. Kane Vosnik has twice penetrated the US... I'm 12, I'm sorry. The US strategic defense system in exile in Cuba. Hiroki Kusaka. We have one of every race, if you didn't notice, right? There's terrorists everywhere. So we're equally racist for everybody. 1989. Bombed Hong Kong Art Gallery and Bank. Wanted by the CIA. Nikita Andropov. Minsk Airport Massacre, 1999. Weapons smuggling. Ex-Ukrainian Army. Vincent Rossa has killed 264 people in the past 23 months. That's a lot. That's like... 132 people per year. That's insane. In five countries, hiding in Europe. Alright. What a great thing to pick up. I don't know how to feel about this. Is this a... Oh, okay, no. This is just a thing. Okay. Hello. Anybody here? No. But that looks important. A computer. This is slot for disk. Okay, I'll just use that then. It's very straightforward for now. If your computer sounds like that. Oh, hello. Security Tires SLI code. Enter noom. Okay. Room number. I, get, I mean, they're all open except for that one, so I guess 12. R01. Hey! You unlock one of the doors! Nothing interesting here. It's a communications terminal. I always think someone is running up to me. I hate that. Stop! Department. Oh, there's a lot of reading today. Department of St. Petersburg. Minsk. Visit Nuclear Medicine Center. Ah, oh, this is a schedule. Okay. Uh, Warsaw. Visit UN Orphanage. Berlin. Speech at Remains. Leipzig. Music performance, St. Thomas Church, Frankfurt, day off. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Geneva, visit the Euro Electronic Commodity Exchange, Zurich. And Paris. Of course, it has to end in, has to end in, uh, in France. There's a math in the Rooster Europe. Okay, cool. Let us go. Now that I actually know what I'm doing, I have to go to 12 STOI something. Did one of the doors downstairs not open? I'm guessing 12 SD something means either... Oh, it could be one of the stairs, actually. I didn't check these doors. I didn't check the other side. That scared the f freak out of me. Because it's so silent. Oh, hello, Blondie. Who are you? Lieutenant Jack Morton of NATO. And who are you? Christina Wayborn, the French ambassador's agent. Oh, hello there. Are you with the there. special police? Is it supposed to be a job only for men? <laughs> no. Not at all. Good work. Okay. Where are they holding the ambassador's family? Mrs. Simon and their daughter Jane were taken to car number 13. Okay. I was kept here to be executed. You said car 13? The ambassador's in car 10. His secretary Mason is guarding him, but it's still not safe. Go up there and stay with them. Oh! But I wish I had a radio to communicate with you. Here, use this. A radio. And good luck, Lieutenant Morton. Call me Jack. Okay. Alright, Lara Croft. Calm your tits, your polygonal triangular tits. We'll, we'll, we'll do it fine. Wow, she went in town on you. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> Report from Washington. Domestic strife and revolution are continuing around the world. As a response to the endless stream of refugees... Do you <laughs> that sounds... Up to date, strangely. The US, Russia, and other NATO... I don't know what NATO is. Sounds like a vegetable. Countries have developed a high-speed transcontinental... A high-speed transcontinental train called the Blue Harvest. I'm warming up to that name. I kind of like it now. It is designed for the fast evacuation of refugees and speedy transportation of medical supplies. Yeah, likely. <laughs> Shot through the heart! The blonde's to blame. 
You give terrorism a bad name. Well, I mean, everybody does. It's a cow rider. Looks like I can rewrite cars with this. Can I rewrite the VIP card? Oh shit! Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> do I want to do that? I mean, I opened it, so I guess. I wonder how much I can like screw myself, right? Can I rewrite a card? Okay, there we go. Thank you. I was like, can I rewrite a card that just screws me out of completing the game? <laughs> Is my thing of like. Can I just mess it up? But I'm guessing the game is like, yo, you need that still. Don't, don't do that. Whatever you're gonna, just don't do that. Hey! Alright, this is a new card now. Is it still gonna say the same? Rewriting card B, yeah. I can't write it rewriting the card, okay. Does it actually say, tell me something? Can't write it on my trees anymore. Okay, well, I guess that's done. And we're going to card 13. To save the wife. Let's go. You have our orders. Smolensk, Russia. Ooh, we're getting further west, you'd imagine. I guess if the line is a perfect stripe. Ho oh, ho! I'm using the actual mechanics of the game. How about that? <laughs> I'm using his god vision. It's like he has a stand. That's insane. Come on, buddy. As soon as you stop, you're dead. You, you don't even know it, but you're dead already. Yeah, you. Bam, bam, bam. What now? You dropped nothing. Did I do these already? I did, right? Yeah, that's why I found the bullets and all the memos. Gotcha, so, two car 13. Let us go. I guess you, you just have to make sure to kill everybody in three shots. Because otherwise you'll be wasting shots. I guess that's the idea here. I'm just going to use the card. Uh, have we the card? It's going to fail. It's going to be <coughs> Oh, hell yeah! I'm actually getting somewhere. <laughs> this is new. Smolensk. Russia. No? Oh! Oh, you could see the actual thing. Minsk. Nice. Not loading. Minsk. Belarus? The heck is Belarus? Carthardine, floor one, front deck. So again, I, I get so much into these. I don't know why. This game is great. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, good. I'm sorry. First aid kit. Still doing the cool like twelve because I don't know. Look, I'm guessing the be upstairs. Is your room? Okay. You're dead as hell. Yup. Oh, hello. Dear mom, God's letter. Uh, dear mom, I'll be home soon. I hope to spend all of my time with you while I'm back in Paris. <laughs> Makes me so sad. <laughs> I'm intending to ask Judah to marry me. It's been six months since I've seen her lovely eyes. Dan. I hope you're not Dan. I really hope you're not Dan. Please don't find a thing that says Dan. Okay. He got away! Where is he? Okay. Play cool. But... All right. It's locked. Not locked. Oh, ammo. Oh, come on. I guess it looks a bit big for like ten millimeters or whatever I'm using. I mean, a new weapon would be appreciated, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, big ol', I don't know. Maybe not a rocket launcher, but a good shotgun never goes amiss. 
Currency Guide. With the birth of the Euro in 1999, EU countries took a major step forward in unita in uni uniting? Uniting? Is that a word? Too bad um, the British people are leaving. <laughs> oh no. However, optimism about the EU, the EU was weakened by major powers not joining the EU, difference between members' economies, as more and more Eastern European nations join the Union, talk about foreign affairs between the East and West will be necessary. It has been argued, however, that such integration could destroy the individual cultures of the countries involved. That's a bit silly. Are you